Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Tonight, I'm gonna be doing tempura fish, y'all. I was in the mood for some fish and chips. I had went and bought some cod, and so I went ahead and grabbed my tempura mix, and that's what was on the menu tonight. So what we eating, y'all? Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, there I have my tempura box. It's basically a mixture of flour, cornstarch, and rice flour, y'all. Go ahead and pour. You could make your own or just use the box. It was more convenient. And I had a box on hand. Pour it in the bowl, y'all. And what you're going to do is you're going to season your mix. So, of course, y'all know I got my good old faithful garlic salt, some garlic powder, and my onion powder. Right? And then I'm going to hit it with a little bit of pepper and some slap your mama. Now look, I didn't have my old bay, so I just used what I had. You're gonna mix that together, get it all incorporated, and then you're going to add ice water. Now really, you guys could, to make this even more better, you can add beer and make it a beer batter, but it was late. Um, I didn't think to grab beer and by the time I got home, I just wanted to hurry up and get this done. And I use what I had in my house. Use what you have at home, okay? So I went ahead again and I added, you want, do you want the water to be ice cold? Um, go ahead and pour some of the water in there. Again, you can follow the you can follow the directions on the back of the box, but me, I eyeball stuff. So I'm sorry. If you're looking for exact measurements, y'all are not gonna get it. Not right now, maybe sometime in the near future, but right now I just um pretty much eyeball it, y'all. So you're gonna eyeball it to the consistency consistency that you would like for it to be. I don't like it to be too thick and you don't want it to be too thin. Um so there you have it. Just go ahead and mix it until the mix is no longer lumpy. You want to make sure it all gets in there. So get that bottom, all right? Go on and scrape that bottom. Scrape the sides and get it nice and smooth so that it'll be ready. Once you are done mixing, now you're going to go ahead and prepare your dry batter. Now, I only had one box of tempura, so I went ahead and made my own mix. I had um, grabbed some flour, and then to that, I'm going to add some cornstarch. Again, y'all, no exact measurements. You really can't mess this up. Just eyeball it, pour it in there, pour a little bit in there. You're just really making a... Um, a dry mix so that you can dust the fish with the dry first and then dip it in the wet so anyway i added corn starch and then um i am going to add some rice flour same ingredients that comes in the box okay now again we're going to season this like i said before and i'm going to say this every single time you season every part of your dish you don't have to over season it okay that's what makes it super duper salty you're just gonna um season it just a little bit and i'm using the same exact seasonings as i did with the wet batter again my garlic salt my pepper my garlic powder my onion powder and that slap your mama seasoning okay usually i would have used old bay because that's what we use when we're cooking with seafood but again we were all out and i am using what i have on hand y'all make it work with what you got especially with these prices out here at these grocery stores and they they tripping all right so as you can see i have um some cod here you can use halibut you can use any kind of fish that you want but typically when you're doing um fish and chips you use cod and i'm gonna slice it down the middle because as you can see <laughs> it already kind of came split in half so i'm just gonna finish cutting it and as my boy chef ramsey gordon ramsey says let the knife do the cutting okay don't be tearing up your fish let that knife do the cutting so I'm now I'm just gonna cut um, some small fillets I, I probably could have cut it a little bit longer than that but I didn't um, and it ended up making actually quite a bit of fish which is a-okay with me y'all I mean you could do fish and chips today and with the remaining you can make a fillet of fish sandwich mcdonald's who okay i bet you the taste better than them <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba.
I'm loving it. All right, y'all. So continue cutting up your fish. Again, you want to, um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you want to make sure that after you rinse your fish, you want to pat your fish dry. Okay. You don't want to be trying to fry no soaking wet, soggy fish. Pat it dry, y'all. As dry as you can get it. And as you can see, there were some thinner pieces of the fish, but that, you, listen, we don't throw nothing away. We're going to use it all. Okay. We're going to try to cut it all this, um, as much as the same size as we can. But okay, go ahead and again, use the same using the same seasonings, you're going to go ahead and season your fish. Again, you do not have to over season it because we've already seasoned the dry batter and the wet batter. Um, if, if we weren't doing all of those different batters, then this is a pretty thick cut um, meaty fish. And so usually you want to be a little generous with the seasoning but again because we season everything else then i can definitely season this lightly using the same seasonings as before slap your mama garlic salt garlic powder and onion powder and don't forget the black pepper <laughs> now y'all we can't just season one side okay we gonna flip this over and we gonna hit it on the back same thing again don't be heavy-handed we've already seasoned everything else and for those who are thinking like oh that's way too much i bet that's salty i bet you it's not i'm telling you it was perfect 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 all right so i'm gonna finish seasoning it up ending it with the slap yo mama okay because it's gonna be so good that's what it's gonna make you want to do it's gonna make you want to slap your mama and maybe your grandmama, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. Okay, now that you have your fish seasoned, go ahead and put it in the dry batter. Pat that dry batter in there. Basically, what the dry batter does is that it helps the wet batter adhere to your fish so that it's not sliding off. And then when you dip it in the grease, um, it actually sticks to the fish and it's not gonna fall off the fish and end all up in your in your grease, okay? We don't want that. So now, again, you wanna um, dust it off and then put it in the wet batter. And from the wet batter, you're gonna go straight to your deep fryer or your pot, whatever you um, are going to fry your fish in. It could be a cast iron skillet, it could be a pot, it could be a deep fryer. I have a deep fryer, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there. As you can see, I'm kind of tethering it in the oil. That kind of helps it um, not stick to the basket. Trust me, I learned the hard way. <laughs> And so you're just going to kind of wave it in the grease before you drop it all the way down, y'all, because we don't want you, we don't want it to stick. All right. So um, go ahead and drop your fish in that hot fish grease. I had my um, fryer on three. Lord, y'all, it was three. I want to say 375. I think I had it on. Between 350 and 375, basically you want to be able to cook the fish thoroughly through and you want to make sure that your batter is golden brown. Um, and you're basically going to cook it until it's golden brown. So I did not set a time, but I mean, it doesn't take fish long to cook. So maybe about three to five minutes, maybe you know, four to eight minutes, maybe four minutes on each side, three you know, just use your eye, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, eyeballing. You see how it's golden brown right there? That's how I know it's about time to um, be taken out of the grease, okay? I like to fry my fish hard because I want my batter to be crispy, y'all. And when I say this batter was thinly crispy, like I don't like no fried fish with thick batter to where you just taste the, you know, the thick breading. I don't like that. I like my breading to be nice, thin, and crispy, okay? And when I say I did that, I did that. Again, it's based on how thick you make your wet batter, okay? It's on you. Whatever you want to do, do what you do. All right, now I'm going to put it on a rack, y'all. I'm just going to put it on a rack so that um, it can cool off. As you can see, look how thick and golden that is. And there you have it. Go ahead, click like, subscribe, and don't forget to share, y'all. Thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all.
Look how crispy that fish was, y'all. Ooh, wee. Get you some ketchup, some tartar sauce, some hot sauce, and a lemon on the side. And as you can see, I placed it with some steak fries. Get into it.